Guys, I'm getting really sick and tired of this. I hate it when I say something, which is fact, and which is common sense, and with logic, if you think about it, it makes sense. And if it makes sense, use it, apply it into your life. That's why I'm giving you advice. Not every single thing that I say has to have some medical research science paper behind it. It annoys me to the point where I almost don't reply and I don't entertain it, but I have to because it's just my nature sometimes. When people say to me, like today, even today I posted something today, I can't remember what it was, and even yesterday, the day before, and pretty much every time I say something, which is 100% fact, I know it because I use it because I do it, and it's fact for me, and if it benefits you in your life, use it. If it works for you, keep it. If it doesn't, throw it away. It's as simple as that. Stop asking me where I read it, where's the research, research says this and research says that. Listen, you idiot. Research is garbage. I'm sick and tired of science. Let me explain when I say why I'm so annoyed and tired of science. People must think, oh, this guy doesn't believe in papers and this guy. Listen, bro, I have a brain up here. So do you guys. You can do research on anything you want with yourself. If it works for you, use it. It's very, very simple. Now today, <laughs> I'm so glad this happened. I'm going to show you something, what happened, and I've saved it actually. Just so you guys can understand for those people out there that was like, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't believe in science. He doesn't believe in this and he doesn't believe in that. Listen, let me just show you something. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you, but you can at least hear it. And the person in question today is the science guru of gurus in this fitness industry. I don't know who made him the guru. I'll tell you how he became the guru. One, he's connected to some very famous rich people. If you don't know that, then you're stupid. Secondly, he has a platform, which he might have created, might not have created, but he also got a leg up from people. And for those people who don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Mr. Huberman, sit in the shower to increase your testosterone 300,000%. Huberman, Derek. Is it Derek Huberman? What's his name? Dr. Huberman. Andrew Huberman. He got famous through Joe Rogan. And guess whose friend is related to Huberman? Sorry, guess which friend of Joe Rogan's is related to Huberman? Um, but not Bert Kreischer. Who's the other guy? Who's the other guy? The bold headed guy who does the Two Bears podcast. I know his name because I follow him. And when I'm making the video, I forget the guy's name. You know who I'm talking about. Anyway, he is related to Huberman. So it's quite easy for Huberman to get onto Joe Rogan because, yo, come on, brother in law, can you sort us out this, uh, this gig with, with Joe Rogan? Yeah, no worries, bro. I'll ring him up. Joe, my brother-in-law wants to come on the show. He's a doctor. He knows about science. He talks about saunas and cold therapy and testosterone. Get him on. Okay. I forgot his bloody name. Ugh, so annoying me. It's annoying me I forgot his name. It's going to come to me. In fact, you know what? I'm going to have to Google it because it really annoys me, uh, the, guy's, the guy's name. Uh, I, I know the guy and the fact that I don't uh, f remember it. While we're doing this, live not live but you know what i mean guys i don't really like to pre -rec i don't really like to pre-record or tom segura that's his name tom segura huberman is related to tom segura through some family relative clearly rang up joe rogan and said yo get us the gig and that's fine there's no issue bro if i or any one of my relatives or my friends on on here knows joe rogan then yo hook me up man because i want to chat to him and i can sound intelligent and smart in front of joe rogan and hopefully make it big like huberman and then everybody would watch my podcast like i am the gospel anyway this is the guy you guys follow for your science listen to this the most well -characterized let me start it again one second one second Let's, listen to this decrease testosterone one of the most well characterized in humans is becoming a parent so expecting fathers have an almost 50 percent decrease in testosterone levels as well their cortisol levels a stress hormone drop by almost threefold and their estradiol levels 
double, so their estrogen levels double. Now, how oh long that lasts, it actually has to do with how much contact with the smells of the baby, of the offspring the father happens to have. So how available or unavailable he is will you actually to this? impact his level of hormone. Did you hear what? <laughs> Science, bro. Science. Come on, come on, science guys. Where are you science guys right now? Come on, comment down below, man. Call all your science guys. Where are they? Huberman claims that fathers, <laughs> fathers' testosterone. I can't make this up. It's exactly what he said. Decrease testosterone. One of the most well characterized in humans is becoming a parent. So expecting father Ex an almost 50% decrease. How do you know that? How do you measure this? Think about this, guys. You, you, you're you very smart. You're very logical. You got a brain up there. Think about this. You're an expecting father. Okay. Huberman uh, says, How, can we get some expecting fathers, please? Yeah, me, me, Mr. Huberman. I'm an expecting father. Okay, you're not an expecting father because you're not carrying the child. Well, okay. I'm an expecting father, Mr. Huberman. I I'm the guy. He's, there's going to be a, fa a baby born by someone I got pregnant, which has got nothing to do with me. But okay, I get it. Household things, staying up at night, all that. You know, shit. I get it. I get it. Okay, it's me. Okay, cool. Get into the lab right now. Get into the lab. Okay, we go to the lab. Quickly, let's take your testosterone, okay? Take testosterone. Right, great. Now go... Is your missus having the kid next week? Yeah, missus having kid next week. Okay, great, great. Okay, missus has kid next. Missus has the kid now. Yeah, right. Week after, get back into the lab. Do the blood t testosterone again. Your testosterone is dipped by fifty percent. That's fact. Did you? This is what they're doing. Are you kidding me? Do you actually believe this study took place? Are you that stupid to believe that this is science? This is science. This is this is what they're studying. You think that this is what they're studying? Unbelievable. Let me just listen to another fact. Decreased testosterone. One of the most well characterized in humans is becoming a parent. Okay. So expecting fathers have yeah. an almost 50% 50% in testosterone levels. As well, their cortisol levels cortisol as well. drop by almost threefold. And oh. their estradiol levels double. So their estrogen levels double. Now, okay. how long that lasts it actually has to do with how much contact with the smells of the baby of the offspring the father happens to have. So how available or unavailable he is will actually impact his level of hormone. So what he's trying to say is, if you are a father who is with the baby all the time, it's going to decrease even more. And the estrogen and estradiol is going to raise even more. What the hell are you... Are, this is the person you guys listen to. This is the person you guys talk about when you say science. So today, I remember now the guy was talking about... I, I put a video of myself up training really fast. You guys know how I train. If you watch my YouTube, you watch my Instagram, you know how I train. Up and down, fast, explosive motion, I believe, in fast twitch fibers. We already know that. Sprinters have thin, flat, crappy-looking muscle. Sprinters, sorry, long-distance runners have thin, crap, crappy, flat-looking muscle. And sprinters have explosive, fibrous muscle that looks good. So I want to train fast like a sprinter, hence having big fibrous looking muscle like this. I think that's how I would like to look. I don't want to look stringy, flat and bold and all that kind of crap. I want to look good, okay? That's why I lift fast, up and down fast. I don't do one second, three seconds, five. I don't do none of that crap. I don't do time under tension. Muscle doesn't have a time. It's not like a go, deet, one, two, three, no. It's a movement, bro. Bam, bam, done, finish, leave it, done. Explosive, that's how I train. The guy was like, well, studies show that time under, where, which studies? Okay, he's gonna pull this research paper up. Where was this conducted? It was conducted at Harvard. By who was it conducted? It was conducted by this guy. And what was his purpose of conducting that study? He wanted to sell a program that was time under tension. Bro, easy, bro, easy. Okay, Fadi Hussein. I want to conduct a study that explosive training is better than slow time under tension. Easy. Trace it back. This study was proven in Harvard that by who? By who? By, by Fadi Hussein. And what was his agenda? Explosive training. Do you get what I'm going with this, guys? It's not hard, is it? It's not hard. What's Huberman's agenda over here? I don't know. Do you believe? Think about this now. Logically, guys. Actually, logically. Use your brain. Do you think this study took place? Do you think any of these studies they talk about took place? Do you think these studies are real? Do you think these studies make sense? How and what were they measuring exactly? 
What if the guy was going on a bender? You don't know. What if the guy was hating his missus? It was his missus being a bitch to him that was causing his testosterone to drop. What if it was that? Do we know what variables there were? Do you know what was going on? He was trying to get a mortgage, couldn't get the mortgage in time. Things fell through, life, stress. He had an accident the day before. Car payments were high. How do you know what was going on in this guy's life but having the baby and getting close to the scent of the smell of the baby caused his testosterone to drop? Do you get what I'm trying to say, guys? Not everything is fast. Not everything is fact. If their car going 0 to 60 in three seconds and you measure it out and that's how fast it goes, that's science, great, I believe it, no problem. Okay, fine. I'll even believe this law of gravity. I'll believe it, okay, great, I believe it, bro. What else do you want me to believe? I'll believe it, okay. Cool, I believe it. It's irrelevant to me, bro. I don't care. You know when someone tells me, if you train like this, you'll get better looking muscle. I already have the muscle, okay. If you do this, you get more fat loss. I already have the fat loss. If you do this, you get stronger. I'm already strong. If you do this, you, I'm all right. If I've already figured these things out and I already know the best approach for these things, why are you coming to me to tell me exactly what to do? I'm not being big headed when I say this. I'm not, I don't mean to sound big headed and almighty and say, oh, I know everything. Listen, I'm not, I don't know everything. And if you comment down below, Anything that I don't know, I will say to many people, I've said it to many, look in all of my YouTube videos, you'll find at least 50 comments of me saying, I'm sorry, sir, I don't have the answer to that because I haven't done the research. I haven't done the research, simple as. When I said to this guy, if you lift slow, your elbows hurt. How do I know he lifts slow, but elbows hurt? Guess who did it? Guess who tried lifting slow and hurt elbows? Me. That was my research, bro. Tried it, lifted slow, elbows hurt. <laughs> Training partner, yo, do your elbows hit if you if 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 you go a bit slow? Yeah, they do. Let's not let's not go slow no more. Okay, cool. We will go fast. Whoa, we're okay, bro. No elbow pain. Mate comes to me in the gym. Another guy. But bear in mind, remember, I own seven gyms, bro. Own seven gyms all over the world. Okay, so I've had mem many members come to me and clients. Elbows hurt. How do you lift? Oh, negatives, and then press down fast. Okay, how about just go fast up and now? Okay, try that. Did the elbows hurt now? No, you know what? Sort it out. That was research for me. That's my research, bro. And if there's other research out there to dismiss that claim, so be it. I ain't here to argue the research. We're all gonna die very soon. Couldn't give a shit about your research. Couldn't give a shit about anything you've got to say. I know what I'm doing is right for me and for my clients. And if you're a client of mine, you know this about me as well. If we've done something and you've said to me, Fadi, nah, bro, I'm still ain't feeling it. What do I do? Do I say stick with it because I believe in it? No, what do I say? I say, okay, let's change this. How about we try this? How about we do this? How about we eat this? It's strange that this isn't working for you, but that's okay because that's not the gospel. We can change it for something else. I always say this, always tell my clients. I never say, no, 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 no. You're not dropping fat, it can't be. There must be something wrong with you. No, I say, okay, maybe your body reacts differently to this. We'll try something else. That's all it is. It's a very simple thing. Stop reading science papers, stop going on the Google, stop going on the internet, stop listening to this complete idiot. You know, if Huberman sat there and said to me, right, listen, I went and did my blood test and my testosterone was X amount. And I did nothing else, I was taking my TRT, standard as it was. My missus got pregnant after she got pregnant, just by chance I did a blood test. And do you know what, bro? 50% testosterone drop, I'd be, wow, that's interesting. Why do you think that was, Mr. Huberman? Bro, you know what? I was a bit stressed out. You know, crashed my car week before as well. This happened, that happened. And, you know, it's hard having a kid. You're up all night. I'd be like, yeah, you know what, bro? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I can understand that. I can understand that, yeah. That, for me, would have been a test study. That, for me, would have been science. That, would for me, would have said, you know what, Huberman? That is what you believe. Try that with your clients. So next time your clients come and say, yo, you know what? Yo, G, just had a kid. Feel a bit depressed, feel a bit down. Mrs. ain't wanting to do nothing with me. She's after the kid all the time. I'm feeling a bit lonely. What should I go and do? You know? Then you could say to him, you know what, bro? Here's the thing. That happened with me as well. It's okay. It's just a phase. You're going to grind it out. It's natural for this to happen. I understand. It happened to me. It'll happen to you. That is okay to say. Don't go out there and say, this is fact. And we did research. And we did study. And we did this because you didn't do it.
This is the issue, why I'm trying to say, why I wanna grow and when I wanna get on these big channels. I want every single one of you guys to support me, comment down below, like my stuff, share my stuff, spread it out everywhere. I make the reels, save them, put them on WhatsApp, put them on TikTok, spread them, I don't care, just do something because I'm out there to fight the good fight, to stop these snake sellers out there, snake or snake sellers, snake oil sellers out there, to just show people, listen bro, it's easy as hell. This is not complicated. Let's teach you some fundamentals when it comes to eating. Let's teach you some fundamentals when it comes to mental strategy. Let's teach you some fundamentals when it comes to relationships, some fundamentals when it comes to life. And now you've got those fundamentals, now go. Get on with it. Stop overthinking every single thing. You know how to lose weight. We've told, you've told you the correct way. Not this calories in, calories out garbage where you have to write and scientific experiments and all this kind of garbage. Yo bro, do you know what happened? I walked a lot and I ate a lot less. And I fasted three or four days of the week. Simple as. Let's be realistic with each other, man. Stop this bullshit, stop this garbage. And if you've, if you've watched this video and you ever write under my videos, where is the research paper? I don't wanna get canceled, but you know what I wanna say to you? Absolute idiots listening to research papers that don't even exist. I would love for somebody to email this Huberman, Duberman guy and say to him, show us his research papers. And all he will do is sit on a home, on desktop, map some up, John Jones and James Smith and all these, he'd write these random names down and he'd say, this is the test results for these guys. That's all it is, bro. If they wanna sell you something, they can sell you something, it's very easy. That's all it is. So I know I got a little bit heated in that video. I don't actually hate Huberman. I think a lot of the times what he says is good. I agree with a lot of what he says. But sometimes, bro, stop talking science. Like I said, I would rather Huberman say to me, well, do you know what? I took my shoes and socks off and walked outside and I felt amazing. The kinetic energy with the earth, the grounding that I felt there was amazing. Now, I would call bullshit on it, don't get me wrong. But I would rather he say that. Then if he said to me, we took 150 men outside and did this and did that, bro, you, didn't, you ain't doing no research. Listen to me, let me tell you something, right? And again, I don't mean to sound cocky when I say this. And I know this because I travel the world. I've been to a lot of places. I've been to the places which have the, you know, how can I say this? Uh, best, best way to describe it. Like, you know, the, the whole vanity, the body vanity, anyway. Miami, your LA, you know, your, your New York, your Las Vegas, your pool parties, your Ibiza, your Marbella, you know, your Thailand, all that. Dubai, anywhere, on the beach, where you'd think that this is a beach where people come on, you know, Cancun, Mexico, anywhere. You name it, I've probably been there. Taking my top off in those gyms, taking my top off in gold gym, taking my top off whatever. I'm in that top 1%. If you want to deny it, bro, that's on you. I don't care, bro. I don't care, I don't care. I am in the top 1% when it comes to physical. Neck down, bro. Just neck down. I'm not saying over here, bro. I, you know, God didn't give, gift me with everything, but he gifted me with a few other things. From here down, I'm good, okay? Top 1% in the world, I'd like to think so. And if you have a six pack, you're already top three or 2% in the world or something. I think it's less than 1% of men who have a six pack. So the fact that I've got a really good six pack and I'm shredded and ripped all year out and I eat what I want to eat and I can teach you guys as well, links in the description. I'd say I'm in top 1%. Anyway, let me explain to you the point I'm trying to get at by saying I'm in the top 1%. I am up there in the top 1% of this physical looking training guy, guy. No one has ever come to me and said, Fadi, can we do research on you? No one I know in that field, and I know some top guys, I don't want to mention any names, but I know some top, top guys. And if you've seen my Instagram stories, you know what I'm talking about. I know some top guys in this field. The top influencers in the world, I know them. First name basis, got the numbers in my phone book. No one's ever come to them and said, bro, can we do this research on you? So who are they doing these research papers on? Which are these people that they're talking about? Are they talking about those guys? that are slaves to the system at home, working away in a slave job, doing this research, who don't go to the gym, who have shit testosterone to begin with. Are they talking about those guys or are they talking about us? Who are they talking about? Because I don't see anybody doing these research papers on anyone, anywhere. It's all garbage. Stop listening to the noise. Listen to what you, what you think is right. You take a logical approach to everything. Does this make sense? 
Hmm, okay, yeah, kind of makes sense. I'll do it. I'll try it for a little bit. You try it. Does it work? Is it good for you? Hmm, okay, yeah, I'll keep it in. Cold showers. Can I do cold showers when I'm in the UK? Absolutely. I turn the hot on, turn the cold on, great. It's freezing cold shower. I love it. I great. I feel energized. Great. Good. Works. Thailand, can I do hot shower, cold showers? No. It's not cold enough. So I can't do cold showers over here. It's not practical for me to do. Can I do an ice bath over here? No, it's not practical. When I go to the sauna down the road and they've got the hot, hot cold therapy, yeah, I can do it. No problem. Can I do a cold bath in, uh, in the UK outside? For me, it's not practical. I don't like doing it. So I don't do it. Take what you think works for you and dismiss the rest. Forget with the science. This is not that complicated. We're not going to the moon, even though they've never been to the moon. I hope I don't get cancelled for that. We're not trying to do anything crazy over here. We're not trying to build something of great magnitude or the Bulge Khalifa or something like that. We're not doing anything crazy. This is a human body, very basic laws. We have instinct. The main thing is we have instinct. Listen to that instinct. Use that. Every time you're stuck, any time you are stuck, your body's going to figure it out and tell you exactly what to do. And if you don't know the answer, listen to people who you believe in. But please stop with this kind of garbage. Comment down below, like and subscribe.